Well, whether you live in the city or live in the country, a trellis can maximize your growing space because you can pack a lot of stuff in a little area and it's going to grow vertical. Now these are two pole trellises that we've made in years past and we're going to make another one. Very simple construction and probably most of the items you have already in your house. First we're going to start off with the main structure which is the pole. We're using a 2 inch PVC plastic pipe. Now you can use a 1 inch, 3 inch, 4 inch, whatever you have. Now if you don't have a PVC pipe, don't worry about it. You could use a 2x4 split in half which would be a 1x1 one one, or a 2x4 with a spike on the bottom. But we find a PVC pipe works best and I'll explain, to the, explain that to you why later. So we want to take our PVC pipe and we want to figure out where we're going to put our support rod to hold our bottom brace on. Now the bottom brace we're going to use is the ring off an old Christmas wreath. You can use other items. This here, we've got a ring. I'm not sure what it was off of. I dug it out of the garbage because I knew what I wanted to use it for. So I got that. Over here is the frame off of a folding chair, one that just has a pad and not the solid piece of metal. That works well also. Or you can even go with an old picture frame, or you can construct a ring out of some old uh, tomato cages you've got broken laying in the garage, barn, shed, basement. So we want to figure out the distance from where the pipe will be, to where the top of the soil will be, to where the pipe you're going to put it in, and to where the brace is. So you're going to insert the pipe, I like to put it in the ground about 8 inches. So I want another 8 to 9 inches of height between the ground and the bottom brace here. So we'll mark that with a tape measure and a marker so we know where to drill our hole for our support. So that's where it's going to be in the soil. We'll go up another, we'll go eight there. So right there is where we're going to be for our support. Now what are we going to use for our support brace? This old folding chair that I dug out of the garbage. These have very nice round pieces of pipe that will work well to feed through the Christmas ring for the support. So let me get that all set up and we'll get that started. So we got the hole drilled in our PVC pipe and it really determines the diameter of the hole of what kind of rod or dowel rod you're going to put through there. And then we cut our pipe that came off of a lawn chair and now we've got our ring. So what I wanted to do is I want to center or find the center of this which is about 12 and a half just to try to get that in the center of the pipe so it's more of a balanced look uh, on the trellis. Now to hold the ring to the bar, I'm going to use just regular zip ties. I'm going to put about two on each side and then we'll get the top portion put together and I'll show you what that lampshade's all about in just one moment. Now that lampshade, the reason I have it is because we need the top portion for attaching for the top of our trellis here. Now as you can see I've cut notches there to where that will sit down in that PVC pipe, just like I have over here on the one we're constructing. I took a drill and drilled a little hole just below the top of it and then I took the saw and notched it out. So don't do this with any lampshade that you're going to keep, but this was great for lampshades you find along the side of the road or sometimes they've dried out and broke inside, so this will work well. So I'm just going to cut this portion off and we're going to attach it to the top and we'll start running our strings to get our trellis constructed. So now that you got your ring cut from your lampshade, uh, you can recycle this other ring and then you can just throw that in the garbage. Now you can clean all this off or you can leave it on, it really doesn't matter, it's kind of difficult because it's glued. So we're just going to set this on top and now with the strings, how many strings do you want to put around it? Well it really depends on what you're going to use this trellis for. Now these, pole, these trellises were used for pole beams. Now you can put them as far apart or as tight as you want. Just remember when this, the pole beans or cucumbers or whatever you're growing on this is going to flourish out and put foliage on, it's going to close off a lot of area. So you want enough area to where the air will circulate through and uh, so the, the fruit or the vegetable will ripen. So you're just going to use, we're going to use jute rope. That's what we use there. If you have access to baling twine, that's fine too. You want to use the, the uh, you don't want to use the treated baling twine, you want to use just the all natural uh, twine if you're going to go that route. So I'll start at the top here and we're going to put oh probably a dozen or so if not more. It just It's really based on what you see needs to be done and you want to keep everything fairly tight and the first couple ones are difficult because you're trying to 
figure out how much tension you want, and these strings will stretch over time. So let me get a couple on here, and we'll come back, and I'll uh, show you how to finish up the polar trellis. So now that we've got it all, all strung, got I think 15, 16 strings here, you want it fairly taut, but they will stretch, and it always helps if you have a helping hand to hold this down, otherwise it's going to flop around. Now, the reason why we only attached it one way, now if you're going to, you can attach it and do a cross here, but there's a trick to reason, reason why I did it this way. So in transit, or in storage, it, you can fold it up and it will store quite nicely, once you pull it out of the soil, and it'll fold quite nicely in wherever you're going to store it. And then come next year, you can just put it all back together and put it back in the ground. So it's a simple, easy, effective way to make a trellis to maximize your growing space instead of having to purchase one at the store. To see all of our Straight to the Point video series, you can go to our website, which is thewisconsinvegetablegardener.com, and you click on the Straight to the Point icon.